Merry Christmas. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me... Well, it's not quite Christmas yet, but I figured instead of a Christmas card this year, since I am living on my own now, I figured I'd post a Christmas vlog. Wow. So yeah, so here's my Christmas vlog. I'm not sure what number this is because there may be some before. I think it's number 26, which I think is pretty good. In nine or seven months, I posted 20 some vlogs. I think it's kind of impressive. You know, last year I did the Instagram 365 challenge, which had me post a picture a day for an entire year. So posting videos is a bit harder than that, editing and getting everything together. So I'm, I think I'm doing pretty good. But it's Christmas and Christmas is a very interesting holiday. As a minister, I get to work on Christmas Sunday this year, so I'm excited for that. It's going to be interesting for sure. I'm excited to I get to preach and share the Christmas story and share kind of my thoughts on Christmas, which I'm looking forward to. But that means I won't be able to go home for Christmas, which is the first time in my life I haven't been home for Christmas, which will be a little difficult, but I got to go home for Thanksgiving, so being home for Christmas isn't really, you know, I'll be able to celebrate with friends around here, go hang out and see some people, but Christmas is something I'll celebrate no matter if I'm far away from home or not. But being at Christmas, that means the new year is about to come and 2016 is almost over, which is crazy because it just feels like 2016 got here. And so a lot of stuff has happened in this last year. And I just kind of want to run through the big things. This is kind of my Christmas card, you know, a little bit of a card, you know, people send and every year, you know, I kind of try to do something special around the end of the year to kind of show, hey, what did I do this year? You know, a lot of times I do like the top of the year. So like in 2012, I think I did the top 12, and then I think in 2013, I did the top 13. I think every year I've done it up to that. This is 2016, I don't think I'm gonna do that because it's hard to think back everything you did. And then 16 things, I'm sure I did that, but so the hard part is either getting to that number or narrowing down from that number. So I'm just gonna kinda do the top things of my year I did. So there'll be some video clips coming up about stuff I did and just kinda showing it, but just some of the fun things I did. Well, one of the fun things I did this year is I graduated from college. That's pretty awesome. Uh, four years of my life uh, flew by, uh, blinked and it was gone, and I'm edu educated now, and they're saying that I'm good enough to, to do a job. So I graduated in May, and I started working full-time here in North Carolina at a church pretty much the day after I graduated. So it's been, it's been really fun. I've really enjoyed working here. It's a beautiful area. Uh, one of the other big things I've been able to do is explore Western North Carolina, which I kind of live in East Tennessee, so they're kind of the same, but being able to live in the, basically in the Blue Ridge Mountains and the Appala Appalachian Mountains and just go adventuring in them. I got to see a couple of my friends get married this summer, I think. Three or four of my friends have gotten married in this last year that are able to go to the weddings and celebrate with them. So that's exciting. Even more than we're getting married next year, which is crazy stuff. I went on a couple road trips this summer to go to different camps and different places across this, the US in the summer. It was a lot of fun. I got to go to White Mills Christian Camp, which was a blast. I got to lead the VBS here at my church, and I got slimed. <laughs> which was a lot of fun. The worst part about that was I was the one who had to make the slime, and then I got the slime dumped on me. So it was a little bit of a hard thing to make the slime that gets dumped on you, but you do it for the kids. I got to see Coldplay this summer. That's probably the top thing I did this year was see Coldplay because I've been wanting to see them for the past five or six years ever since I've really got into them. And they do world tours, you know, they don't go to every city. Like, you know, some bands do like they do a national tour. So I found a city, the closest one, when the tickets released at first was Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. So me and my friend Will bought the tickets, road tripped up to Philadelphia, drove about 12 hours in a day, got there, watched them, went back, crashed in a hotel for like, got four hours, four or five hours of sleep, woke up, 
drove the 12 hours back. So it was a great like 48 hour experience, like crazy. But it was amazing. I got to see them. It was so much fun. I wish I could go again. But I don't know if my body or my wallet would appreciate it if I went again. I got to go to the battle at Bristol. <laughs> which was a lot of fun. One of my friends had tickets and asked me if I wanted to go, and I said, sure. So I was there with 150,000 other people, helped set a world record, so now I can say my name is unofficially in the Guinness Book of World Records. It's like, you know, a footnote, you know, just 150,000 names should be all listed afterwards, so hopefully my name will be in there. And that was a really fun game. I got to do a bunch of different exciting things around here, hiking, paddle boarding, slack lining, we had a bunch of stuff, so yeah. That's kind of my year. I got to go home for Thanksgiving. See it? Yeah. <laughs> Andy, what'd you do? <laughs> Andy's here. Don't lose that. Okay. Where's We're the top? It's that was a lot of fun. It was see family for the first time in months. My, my dad came down and visited me in Asheville. My How high are we right now? Mom helped me move in here. A lot of stuff happened. A lot of it's in my previous vlogs I started after I graduated. I finished the Instagram 365 challenge. That was pretty exciting. So now like every day when I go on time hop, I have a picture of what I posted the year before on that day, which is really cool and something I look forward to seeing, you know, kind of being reminded of that every day of every year. I got a new camera. That's pretty exciting. It's the one I'm filming on right now, my Canon Rebel T5i. It's a lot of fun. I've gotten really into photography, going up on the Blue Ridge Parkway, taking pictures, making videos, doing stuff like this. But yeah, it's been a great year. 2016. Crazy to think. I remember when I started college back in 2012, this, this was the year I was looking forward to because this was the year I was graduating. When I came into college, it was, it was the class of 2016. And I was like, you know what? This, like, this is 2016. That's four years. That's going to be a long time away. Nope, it wasn't. It was here before I knew it, and now 2016 is over. Did you look at that? 2017 is going to be here. I don't know what 2017 has in store. I have a lot of stuff planned, so hopefully some good stuff. Hopefully taking some road trips to see some friends. Hopefully a couple hiking, backpacking, camping, canoeing trips, maybe. More concerts, for sure. More vlogs, for sure. More Instagram pictures, definitely. Uh, but yeah, a lot of it's up in the air. Just kind of seeing what comes along and what's available. But what I do know is this year's been good. God has blessed it. God has given me a lot of great opportunities to learn and grow. It's given me, given me a lot. I've had a lot thrown at me. The beginning of the year, the end of my school career is a little bit rough, but I managed to get through it. I'll hit the ground running with my job. I'm enjoying it. I'm really feeling good about what I'm doing. And life is just good right now, which is about all I can say. So thanks for tuning in. There's gonna be some more videos and stuff kind of highlighting my year coming up. So thanks for watching. Merry Christmas and happy trails. Just hear those sleigh bells jingling, ring ting tingling, too. Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with you. Outside the snow is falling and friends are calling you hoo Come on, it's lovely weather for a sleigh ride together with of 
a wintry fairy land Our cheeks are nice and rosy and comfy cozy are we We're snuggled up together like two birds of a feather would be Let's take the road before us and sing a chorus or two Come on, it's lovely weather for us, they ride together with you Also, I just want to say, look at this Christmas tree I made. I wanted to go buy a Christmas tree, but Christmas trees are expensive. I mean, I don't want to pay 30 bucks or something that, you know, I have to put together and then take away, put in a box for another, like for 10 months, 11 months out of the year. So I looked around and I had some scrap 2x4s laying around my house. And I was like, you know what? I actually need some spray paint and a staple gun. I'm not going to make a Christmas tree. And look at what I made. And also, my Dr. Enough lights, I finally got them up. And it looks great. I mean, watch this. Feliz Navidad. <laughs>